As digital artists, we all obsess about brushes. We spend time searching for them, crafting our own unique brush, or unhealthily muttering about them in public. We love brushes. But what if I told you there's another tool you should be obsessing about? The Humble Eraser Tool. Hey there, this is Drawing with Abby, a channel where we discuss all things digital art. So if that's your bag, feel free to subscribe. In my opinion, the eraser tool is often overlooked and is seen more of a corrective tool. But that's really limiting all the great things you can do with the eraser tool. In fact, I have three simple tips on how you can use the eraser tool to improve your drawings. Make sure you stick around for the last tip because I think that one is really going to level up your game. This tip is more about changing your mindset rather than any special feature of the eraser tool. You see, when you draw traditionally, you tend to be a little bit more careful about your clean line art. You're more considerate and aware about things such as intersecting lines, tangents, or clean corners. All this careful line art means that you'd be drawing at a pretty slow pace. When drawing digitally, you don't have to slow down and worry about those things because of the eraser tool. You can draw in smooth, sweeping brush strokes and not worry about overlapping lines or odd tangents because you just simply clean them up. Now, while you're technically adding an additional step to your drawing process, you might think this will make you slower. However, the reality is that you'll be doing your clean art at a much faster pace since you're not slowing down to be more careful with your line art. <laughs> Negative inks isn't really a word. I'm just using it because I don't really have a shorthand to call this technique. When you're inking, you're essentially adding lines to your illustration to help define shape, depth, or texture. With negative inking, you're doing the exact same thing, except you're removing elements rather than adding. Confused? Don't worry. It's pretty simple. Let's take this drawing of a character with dark hair. Now, we can leave this drawing as is, or we can apply some shape to the hair by using our eraser tool. First, we're going to make sure that we're using a brush shape that matches our current line art. So, if our line art is using the hard round pressure brush, we want to use that same brush for our eraser tool. Then, we can draw in some erased lines to indicate ways of hair into the illustration, like so. We can also use this technique to indicate creases in clothes or brick patterns in the background. This takes a bit of practice, but you'll quickly discover how you can use the eraser tool to draw in definitions to areas that are mostly filled in. The last tip I have is all about using your eraser tool as a way to apply texture to your illustration. Let's say we have a digital painting of a lone warrior walking through the aftermath of a battlefield. We can add some life to this drawing by applying texture. Normally, we would do this by adding brush strokes to the drawing using a texture brush. However, we can enhance that technique by utilizing those same brushes with the eraser tool. By applying your eraser tool as a texture brush, you can layer the effect you're after. You can make the dust seem more fine, or add the impression of movement to smoke. You can even use this technique to imply patterns or details in the environments and costumes. Once you gain an understanding of how you can employ the eraser tool as a way to enhance textures, you can really open up a world of possibilities with your illustrations. So those are my tips for upgrading your drawing game by using full use of the eraser tool. Do you guys use the eraser tool in any other unique ways? Drop a comment below and let me know. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If so, hit that like button or consider subscribing if you want to see more. Until next time, keep drawing.